Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Gymshark clearance sale try on and review haul for you guys. I am all for buying activewear, especially when it's on sales. I went on the Gymshark website for the Memorial Day sale and I found really good pieces that I had been eyeing, but sometimes I don't want to pay full price most of the time we're on a budget and activewear is not getting any cheaper <laughs> so let's get to it all of my sizing measurements are going to be included in the description box below as well as the sizes i got for each item that i'm going to be showing you for all of the items in this video with gymshark i got between an extra small and a small let's get to it the first few items that i got are the sports cross I got the banjo style in the color nutmeg brown in the size small. I have this bra in white and I love it. I'm literally always gravitating to this white sports bra that I have because of the way it fits. It's just so easy to match with your amplify leggings, with the bare shorts, with the bare leggings because of the simplicity of it and that's why I love Gymshark. They have such stylish, simple, basic sports bras with good support that you just can't go wrong with and it's really hard to pass these up. The fabric in these, I feel like the more you wash it, the more, the softer the fabric gets and I have no issue with that. They do tend to pill a little bit, but I'm very careful with my sports bras and I take care of them very well, so I've never had an issue, but I can tell with my white sports bra that, that when I wash it and I don't put it in a laundry bag, it starts to get a little fuzzy, but I've had no major issue just because I know I take really good care of my sports bras. I don't have anything in this color, so it, it was hard to pass up. For this bra on sale, I believe I got it for 17, 16 or $17. And you can't even find $17, $18 sports bras in this style on Amazon. So if you look on Gymshark website, when they have sales, you'll find really good sales and it's really hard to pass up. So this bra is stunning. It's, I just love it. The next bra I got in that same bandeau style is this aloe green bra in size small as well. I remember I had ordered a very similar bra to this from the Buck Bunny website during Black Friday, but then they sent me an email that everything was sold out and they couldn't fulfill my order. And I've been wanting this sort of minty green sports bra. And when I saw this on sale, I had to get it. This one, I believe was $18. Again, it's very hard to beat that pricing because Normally, I believe these retail for $28, I believe. So $18, I thought was a really, really good deal. I love the fit of these. I'm a 32 a so I don't need a whole lot of support, but this gives me just the right amount of support. I feel like I could size down in this to an extra small, but because the band is really thick, I know I'll have a hard time getting it past my shoulders. So I prefer to go with the size small. I know I have a couple of extra small from Gymshark, but the small fits me perfect and I don't struggle putting it on and taking it off. And similar to the other nutmeg color, the fabric is about the same. It almost feels a little bit more performance-like compared to my white one. My white one is much more softer, it's much buttery soft, but I'm thinking this one will get softer the more I wash it. The next bra I got is very similar in style. This is the Legacy Sports Bra in the color Pebble Gray, size small. And I paid around $18 for this bra. When I saw ads on this bra, how the model was wearing it was in a one strap style, kind of like this. And then this one was attached to the other side which I thought was just so freaking cute. This reminds me a lot of the Buff Bunny one strap bra that they released a, a while ago. At first I thought this, this particular bra because of the thickness of the straps and just the thickness of, just, just in general, the way it looked, I thought it was going to be a little too bulky for me, especially because I'm a 32A. But when I saw the ad of how the model was wearing it in a one strap, I was like, I have to get it. Although I thought this would probably be a little too big on me and because I thought it was going to be bulky, it fits 
perfectly. The fabric on this is probably a little softer and more brushed than the bandeau bras, at least for me. This one feels like the original bandeau bra I have in white from Gymshark, and I love the fabric. It does feel like it has extra support, so if you are bustier, this bra would be perfect for you. Now for sizing and fabric comparison with my other Gymshark bras, this is the white one. And this is the new nutmeg. Measurements are exactly the same. So that's a bonus. The fabric feels and looks a little tad bit different. It's really not that noticeable. So I'm thinking once I start washing this one, it'll probably start feeling more like this one. I like the fabric for both. This one's more silky and soft. This one's just buttery soft. And to compare with this one, both size small look exactly the same these two for sure feel identical maybe the legacy one is a little bit more brushed but i'm not complaining i i love gymshark simple bras to compare the bandeau bra with the gymshark minimal bra i believe that's what it's called they're both size small the minimal bra does feel a little big i was going to get another one in an extra small but they're both size small and the measurements are the same but for some reason, this one feels big, like there's just a lot of space. And you know what? I think it's because this one doesn't have any cup pads and this one does. So it gives you that extra support and kind of push. This one doesn't have cup pads and it does feel like it runs a little bit bigger on me. For reason, right? So sizing consistency with Gymshark between these two bras and the ones that I already have and have worn is exactly the same. For this item, I decided to size down to an extra small because of the fact that it's a one piece. I'm 5'2", and my concern with one pieces is that I'm going to have extra fabric in the midsection. So that's why I decided to size down to an extra small. The fabric for this item is very silky smooth and soft. I don't think you'll have a risk of peeling this. There might be just because everything pills nowadays but it's not a line fabric like it's more performance silky smooth fabric which i do like i think that what makes it perfect for the gym for sweating unfortunately i do have just a tad bit of extra fabric in my midsection but again that's probably because i'm five two and i do feel like the leg opening because i size down to an extra small kind of cuts me in a little bit maybe i'll just have to play around with the fit and kind of adjust and see how it goes but i'm not necessarily complaining about the fit for 35 dollars, i think for sure it is worth it i'm also not used to wearing shorts in this length so i tried to hike it up and i feel like it takes away from the look of what it's supposed to be like so I'm not totally convinced. I feel like if you're taller, definitely if you're above 5'2", it for sure will be more flattering on you. I'm just not yet convinced on the way it fits me. Fabric wise, absolutely amazing. The black one would obviously be even better, but I prefer items on sale, which was this one on the spot. <laughs> So I would recommend it if you're taller than 5'2". The next item I got is the Elevate Longline Bra in the color Moss Olive and size extra small. For this one, I believe I paid $23. The reason why I got this one was to go with the flare pants, which I will show you next. Now, I honestly do not know what I was thinking when I got this in an extra small. I could not get this past my shoulders. I honestly don't know what I was thinking when I decided, oh, let me get an extra small. This fabric, very silky smooth and soft. Definitely more of a performance fabric. I don't think you'll have an issue with peeling this because it's more of a performance spandex fabric. So this one does have built-in cups inside and the hole to access them is towards the bottom. Usually it's on the side. It's actually towards the bottom so if you don't like the cup pads you can take them out but i personally find that the cup pads are much more flattering especially if you're a 32a like me i honestly do do like it especially because i want it to fit the flared pants how it compares to a size small bandeau bra the size small is honestly a little bigger just a tad bit not too much not crazy noticeable it's just like a little bit bigger to go with that moss olive 
long length bra from the Elevate collection. I got these yoga flared pants, same soft performance fabric, which I really, really love. It just feels so, feels so nice. These I got in an extra small and I only paid $28, which honestly is a really good deal. Now for this one, I sized down to an extra small. I do like my clothes to be a little bit more fitted, more compression. And because of the wide leg, I did not want to risk it fitting me loose. So I decided to size down. But then I saw the waistline when I took, <laughs> took it out of the bag and I was like, this is so small. Once I tried it on, even though it took me a little wiggling to get it on, I have to say this pant is absolutely so freaking flattering. It just makes your booty look so nice and it really accentuates your waist. I don't like leggings that make you feel like they're so tight. You feel like your bum can't breathe. These don't do that. It fits my frame, but I know if I were to bulk, this extra small pant would probably not fit. This is probably my favorite item from this entire haul, especially for $28. If you can get your hands on these for $28, ladies, don't even hesitate. It's hard to find a good pant on Amazon for that price. The logo for this pant is on the hip and it kind of blends in with the pant, which I love. I did not think it was too long for me. It was the perfect height. These pants are so good. Like my favorite thing, you have to get these. If you are in between sizes, maybe go up a size if you wanna be safe. If you know you like your clothes to be extra compressive, then sizing down to an extra small, you'll be completely fine. The next and last set I got from the Gymshark sale is the Paws Knitwear set, the pants and the long sleeve as well. I do live in Miami Beach. It does not get cold here year round. We may get two or three cold days where the weather is like in the 40s, rarely. <laughs> but i really wanted to get the set for the days i go to california and it gets cold there so i'll have an excuse to wear this knitwear set it feels like a blanket and i love wearing loose clothing and especially like if i'm in the plane or if i'm lounging i don't usually wear leggings when i'm lounging now because it is that knitwear fabric these in particular pick up a lot of lint it's an extra small, but because it's so oversized, it drags on the ground a little too much for me and more than I would like. I like things to be oversized and big, but I don't like them to drag. So I tend to tailor my jeans or my leggings if they're too big to where they fit perfectly with my platform sneakers. Unfortunately, because this is a knitwear fabric, I don't think I'll be able to tailor it. So here's the fabric so you can get a look of how it's very it's like a blanket and it's so cozy this is what the waistband looks like so it's got a little bit of black and kind of gray in it it's not old it's not dirty it's woven in so it's like a moral effect the logo is in gray as well it's in the front pocket this knitwear pant that i got i paid 22 23 dollars for it and i got it in a size extra small to go with that pause knitwear pant i got the pause knitwear long sleeve this one i also got in an extra small just because of the fabric i knew it was going to have a little bit of extra weight and more of a loose fit to it so i decided to size down and for this one i believe i paid around 26 dollars which i don't think that's too bad the fabric for this one is very very knitwear as the name says it and it's got a little bit of a pattern in the front you'll see it here the neckline oh i love this neckline i feel like long necklines for the winter like they look very classy very sophia richie here's the logo bottom left in gray long sleeves i love it this is like this makes perfect for like an airplane fit with the black knitwear pants and i am here for it i'm telling you guys gymshark has really good basics and even better when you find them on sale <laughs> with this top one thing i noticed is the armpit area is not very giving and in particular this stitching right here 
that goes under the armpit. It's very restricting, so you put it on, you feel like a really tight stitch kind of digging into your armpit. When I was putting it on and I was doing this, I could feel that stitching kind of digging into my arm. I know for my body, my shoulders are bigger and you know, this whole area. So that's common for me. But I just wasn't expecting that with this. I just knew it was going to be stretchy. I knew it was going to have more of a loungy fit. And fortunately, that wasn't the case. I mean, for, for the price, I think it was good. There's no way I would pay for this full price. But that's just me. If you go on the website and find these on sale, honestly, especially the pants. The pants are actually really good. So I would for sure give it a go on those. All in all, all of these pieces have been... 10 out of 10 for me for the most part in terms of keeping them and because I know I love them, I know I'll wear them, especially the sports bras. I just feel like you can't go wrong with the sports bras from Gymshark. They're so basic, so standard, so easy to match, and especially if you're getting them on sale. The yoga pants are my favorite from this haul. Always try to shop on sale. You do not have to buy pieces as soon as they're released. Don't fall for the hype of trying to buy pieces every time they release. You don't have to. Shop on sale whenever you can and whenever possible. Avoid paying full price and I promise you you're gonna find really good deals. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and most importantly I hope you found it helpful. If you have any further questions don't hesitate to let me know down below or on my Instagram. Thank you once again and I hope to see you on my next review.